Sometimes when you're painting a subject, the main focus, like this fuzzy peach here, can get all the attention and the less interesting parts, like this little branch, can be treated as an afterthought. But if you don't get them right, they can really let the painting down. So in this tip video, I wanted to walk you through how I painted this branch to help increase your confidence with these often overlooked areas. I tackle the branch early on in the painting. That's because it contained the darkest colours in the piece as a whole. So by painting it before I went on to paint the peach itself, I was giving myself a visual anchor point on the paper to be able to compare the colours in my peach against it as I painted it. My pencil drawing already mapped out the major shapes of colour within the branch. I began painting, as always, by painting the lightest tones within the branch. And I needed to change colours a lot to reflect the different hues I could see there. Using a size 1 brush, I applied watery yellow ochre and then added a touch of some red, my Scarlet Lake, to make a more orange colour for those areas that needed it. Next I used some watery olive green to match to the light green areas I could see in my reference photo. And then for the rest of the branch I used a watery mix of burnt sienna and Payne's grey to create a brown colour. I'm not being very precise at this stage, just roughly matching the shapes of colour I can see in my reference photo whilst keeping my mix nice and pale. I can always darken later, but I may want to leave little gaps to these light colours, which is why I'm using this pale mix now. Next I go in with the very darkest tones. I've gone down to a size 0 brush to make some more precise markings. I use a mix of burnt sienna and plenty of Payne's grey, much thicker now. I pick out any areas this dark and leave gaps where the colour is lighter. I use the tip of my brush to create hard line edges to the shapes where needed. Now I go in with the darker mid-tones, using a mix of olive green, burnt sienna and a little Payne's grey, a little more dilute than in the previous dark mix. I apply it where I see that hue and I feather the edge where it has a rough texture next to the area of highlight. And again, I leave gaps where the colour is lighter. Next, I darken the orange mid-tone areas, using my orange mix again, this time thicker, and with some brown added to darken it. Then I water down the green mix to work on the lighter mid-tones. Once I've done that, I can see that I need to darken my darker mid-tones some more, so I apply another layer of the dark green mix to those areas. Then I go on and finish my peach, darkening it right up. And once that's been painted, because tone is relative, it's now easier to see that the darkest tones within the branch and a few of the highlights in the branch need darkening some more. So I apply another layer to those areas. Then finally it's finished and adds real balance to the composition. I hope this inspires you to spend a little bit of extra time on your branches and stems to really make your paintings. If you're interested in painting this full peach, I've made a step-by-step -step tutorial of it which is available as part of my fruit class with Craftsy.com. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit animationart.com where you can sign up for a free step-by-step -step tutorial, check out the equipment I recommend, view more tip videos, get inspired by my portfolio and lots more. Thanks for watching.